So by the timeout, UMass Lowell with possession as they lead 58-57. They're up by as much as six, it would look like, at one point during the second half, but Stonybrook is able to stay in this game and fight. Now the inbound over to Daly as he sets up with 17 to shoot. Over to, the, to Noel, almost lost it, but gets the ball inside. And a whistle called, a whistle called before Noel had a chance to shoot. And it's a foul against the Seawolves. And with that foul, that puts UMass Lowell in the bonus. UMass Lowell, Obadiah Noel going to the free throw line. Last person in book would want to foul and bring him to. Book hard memories last time they played at Lundhold Gymnasium against New Hampshire. Noel on the first free throw. Ross is around, misses, and the rebound's being fought for. It's picked up by Khalil Thomas. And that is a surprising miss by Obata Noel from the free throw line. Has he been perfect before that miss? So he has the ball now with 10 on the shot clock. Eight seconds left to go. Green against him. Noel trying to push it inside. Lose, almost lost the ball. Has to take a floater. Blocked hard by Gee and picked up by Green. Now he'll go quickly in transition. So he now with a chance to retake the lead. McKenzie will set up at the right wing against Daly. McKenzie with the ball, moving over to the top. Rolling around it. Sunnybrook with six blocks so far today, none for UMass Lowell. Rodriguez going inside to Policelli, 10 left to shoot. He'll try and push it in. He's inside the paint, trying to push it in, and, they get, and he gets called for offensive foul. And Policelli is really confused with that call too. Yeah, that was the right call because Policelli dropped his shoulder against his defender. Policelli was trying to find his way in. Yeah. There'd be no other way, it would seem, unless he had a chance to spin move. Sunnybrook unable to retain the lead. They're up to 18 turnovers now today. Noel crosses the timeline over to Alan Blunt. Now Khalil Thomas left wing, out to his right for Withers. To his right now for Daly. Daly with the ball, going out to the top for Allen. Allen to his left for Obadiah Noel. Going inside, ball was tipped and picked up by Green. Now he gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie will get across the timeline and go slow. Out to left wing is Paul Shelley. Trying to spin move around. He'll step up, go up for three. Misses off the rim, but Green with the rebound. Inside the paint, losing the ball against three Riverhawks, but gets the put back and one. What an end one by Taki Green to put Stony Brook up by one and have a chance to put Stony Brook up by two if he knocks down the free throw. But once again, You've seen Stony Brook play really good on the defensive side of the basketball, getting turnovers and allowing them to get offensive rebounds and getting second chance points. Now just put Taiki Green an and one and now has a chance to put Stony Brook up by two. And the free throw, it's good. And Stony Brook back, back with the lead. They're up 60 to 58 with 2.04 left to go. Here we go into crunch time as we're at the two minute mark. Obadiah Noel with possession trying to cross the timeline against McKenzie. He will. And he'll call timeout. Stony Brook is really starting to get back the answer that they have been desperately looking for in the second half. Shooting was way off, but Green getting the big rebound off of Policelli's missed three. Ball was loose inside the paint against three Riverhawks, but Green still able to fight off all of them and get the layup, forcing a foul on it and able to connect on a rare free throw from him after he missed his first two today. And Ty Green, Green, he's really tough, like... He's a really tough basketball player and muscles his way out of three UMass defenders to get an and one basket. And now Stony Brook is on a 9 and 0 run against UMass Lowell. This is really the type, type of run that Stony Brook has been looking to try and get towards what they need this much in order to keep their season alive and play against New Hampshire tomorrow. And it's great that they're going on this run right now because. This is crunch time, and Stony Brook is coming alive right now in crunch time against U UMass, as UMass has been scoreless in the last three minutes and 24 seconds of this game. So now with Allen Blunt looking for an inbound, UMass low with a chance to tie or take back the lead. Bryce Daly with the ball, looking to push it inside in the left lane, loses the ball, but it was last touched by the Seawolves. And this is his nice strip by Juan Felix Rodriguez. It's a good relief for Stony Brook to stop UMass low from tying the game momentarily. Having to force them to try and work up another strategy that they couldn't get inside just before. Trying to get the inbound over the over the well. He's in the pink. Going on a flow there. He got it and he won. And an in one by Obata Noel to have a chance to put UMass up by one. Wow. 
Obato Noel, he's so aggressive inside, attacking the interior, realizing that he had a mismatch, and Juan Felix Rodriguez and puts it in and now has the opportunity to put UMass up by one with one minute and 47 seconds left to go in the second half. Rodriguez is not happy because he had his hands up the entire time, claimed that he didn't even lay a hand on him. Noel, 7 of 8 today. 7 of 9 misses the free throw. Can't give the Riverhawks the lead, so we're all knotted up at 60 with 143 to go. A critical miss that would have given a little momentum back to the Riverhawks. So Rodriguez with the ball. No, no points so far today in the second half, but now guess what? He gets the layup. And that is just a nice basket by Juan Felix Rodriguez. Going, into, going in between two defenders to put Stony Brook up by two and now scores his career high. A new season high for, for Rodriguez season. at 22. Now Noel with the ball. Daly with the ball now at the top of the perimeter. Trying to push inside against Ski. Has to move back out after his left for Noel. Nine late left to shoot. Careful not to foul. Noel with the ball. Gets the layup. Knocked it. Got blocked and it goes out of bounds. A better defensive play by Stillingbrook this time against Obadiah Noel. And Riverhawks will retain possession, but with five on the shot clock. And it's a nice job by Stony Brook stepping up, realizing that Obada Noel is going to attack inside. Quick inbound over to Noel. Almost lost the ball, has to push it inside. Double team, has to go Thomas right wing for three. Too strong, and Policelli picks up the rebound. And now the ball stripped away from him. And Policelli's called for the foul. You got to be kidding me. Policelli with the wow. a chance to give Stony Brook back and nearly have a chance to ice the game. But now it'll be free throw opportunities for Alan Blunt to try and tie the game. Wow. Those is just, you see, you cannot turn over the ball with one minute left to go in this game. Noticing that you had the offensive, I mean, the defensive rebound, having a chance to put Stony Brook up, but turn over the ball, and now UMass has a chance at the free throw line to put UMass to top of this ball game. When Paul Chelly had a good look, he was initially hit at first, and no foul was called on that. So Alan Blunt, who is 64% free throw shooter, his first one is good after it takes a couple of bounces. UMass can't miss from here. This is cautious. One trying to improve his free throw percentage. Second one is up. And he mixes it as he once again hit, takes a couple of bounces. We're all nodded up at 62. McKenzie will inbound it to Green. McKenzie with the ball. Looking across the timeline. Stony Brook can't afford any more miscommunication mishaps. 20 on the shot clock. He'll hand it off to Rodriguez. He's got only two points so far in the second half. Coming off of the last possession for Stony Brook with the layup. Rodriguez trying to spin move it around it. Right lane. Goes up for the layup. Had it blocked. And it stays with UMass low. But they're going to take a look at this because they are well convinced that Rodriguez was the last to touch it. But I'm surprised that there was no foul called on that one either. Seeing a lot more fouls called on, called on Stillingbrook when UMass low tried to take those shots. And it looks like it touches his... It's hard to tell who was last touched by. From our angle, may have been Rodriguez, could have been Calder Withers. But if Stony Brook keeps possession, there will be 11 left on the shot clock. No, it looks like actually it was last touched by UMass as he gets the last fingertip on the basketball. That would make some sense. From our angle, it does look that way. And if the refs can't see it, then they're going to have to leave it as the call stands, which is Stony Brook ball. And Frankie Policelli couldn't... Couldn't have been a lot more angry with how he was called for that foul and how he lost possession of the ball. Because you had the lead with that much time left, you always have to keep your guard up. Just couldn't really keep the guard up, his guard up for that long. The refs are still taking a look at this one. This is taking a very long time. With 37.6 seconds left to go in regulation, you can imagine why this is it's hard. So Zach, if Stony Brook gets the ball back here, who do you give in this shot to? We got 11 seconds left to go. You got to find somebody who can make it. I'd suggest that you go look at Paul Celli because he has been looking pretty good so far in the second half after playing. He's playing off the bench and had some shots go airball today, especially with three pointers. Yeah. And right, they're still taking a look at this one. And if you're UMass with 37.6 seconds to go left in the second half and if they get the ball back what do you think UMass have to do in order to score against Stony Brook? Fine to get the ball to Obadiah Noel because being able to drive it inside the paint has been a strong suit and the refs say that the call is going to be confirmed it's Stony Brook ball 
So let's see what Stony Brook does here with possession of the ball with a chance to get the go-ahead shot. This is a key possession by Stony Brook. Juan Felix Rodriguez was able to force the ball off a daily last. So with 11 on the shot clock and 37 seconds left to go in the second half, Stony Brook with the ball. Rodriguez will get the ball on the left baseline, right near the right lane. Looking for somebody available. It goes off to Guy. Back out to Rodriguez, right wing. He looked to push it inside, and the ball stripped away, and this time it's off of Rodriguez. Couldn't get a clean attempt, and it goes to UMass Lowell. And they're going to take another look at this one, too. 